Very good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Crusaders TV YouTube channel. We are here at Seaview this evening, bringing you live coverage of the Bet McLean League Cup match between Crusaders and Premier Intermediate League side Moyola Park. Crusaders have won this competition, competition twice before, but are also beaten finalists in six previous occasions, notably the last time this competition was played in February 2019, which we narrowly missed out to Coleraine. Moyola Park come into the game on the back of a 6-0 defeat away to Limavada United in the Craig Mo Memorial Cup but are unbeaten in their own league campaign this season and their manager Mervyn Patterson will be looking to shock the Seaview Giants for Crusaders. They'll be looking to this competition to give a chance to those players who haven't played as many games so far in the league campaign but nonetheless will be wanting to progress into the third round. The teams this evening and 11 changes in total for Crusaders starting off as number one goalkeeper Sean O'Neill Number three, Chris Hegarty. Number four, Aidan Wilson. Number seven, Philip Laurie. Number nine, Adam Leckie. Number ten, Jonathan Fraser. Number eleven, Brandon Doyle. Number seventeen, Lewis Patterson. Number eighteen, and captain Jordan Owens. Number twenty-one, Gary Thompson. And number forty-three, Lewis Barr. On the bench tonight for Crusaders is number thirty-three, Jonathan Tuffy. Number eight, Ben Kennedy. Number fourteen, Jordan Forsyth. Number sixteen, Johnny Black. Number 24, Joshua Robinson. Number 26, James Holland. And number 27, Jonathan McMurray. For the Mule Park team this evening is number one, Morgan Moore. Number two, two Craig McAllister. Number three, Aaron Harris. Number four, Robert McLean. Number five, Reese O'Mullen. Number six, Michael Tolan. Number seven, Stuart Forrest. Number eight, and captain, Daniel McElhatton. Number nine, Tiernan Rafferty. Number 10, Daniel Barfoot. Number 11, Peter McClure. On the bench for them this evening is number 12, Tom Patchett. Number 14, Virgil McGarity. Number 15, Ben Mitchell. Number 16, Kieran McKeever. Number 17, Connor Logue. Number 18, Mark Farley. And number 19, Shea McSorley. As the referee is just about to get us on their way tonight, we have cut our budget this evening, so it's just me in commentary. I couldn't manage to get anybody else at this late notice, but thank you all for those tuning in. I'm sure you would rather be here, but for one reason or another you're not so hopefully this is just a small thank you and bring the game to you as we make way in this second round of the Bet McLean League Cup and we are now underway good early touches there from the Myola side but Crusaders defence is trying to clear their lines and get the ball down. It comes to Brandon Doyle out in the left-hand side. He gives it back to Patterson. Crusaders now just getting a foothold of the ball and it's out now as far as Chris Hegarty. He comes out on the right-hand side. To Patterson. Sorry, the left-back is actually Lewis Barr this evening for Crusaders. Who is now on the ball on the left-hand side. Brandon Doyle tries to get by the Mula fullback and wins his side of throw in. Good play by Adam Leckie. Brandon Doyle looks for everything he's going to get there. He's just trying to get the shot away, but the Mula midfield does well just to knock that back. And the goalkeeper's now got it for Mula Park. Clip forward. Good play by Tiernan Rafferty of Mayola. He tries to find his strike partner, Daniel Barfoot, but it runs all the way to Barr. Sean and he'll probably just get let off with one there. He was trying to return the ball back to Lewis, but the Mayola Park striker was there just to intercept it. Ball comes out to Aidan Wilson. He goes long trying to find Jordan Owens, but it's an easy header. Lewis Patterson now he got the ball on the right hand side he tries to get by the Mayola Park captain and does so but it's a Mayola throw in just inside their own half good flick on there by Daniel McAhatton the Mayola captain And 
as we said earlier, a few changes, 11 changes in total for the Crusaders side to their 1-1 draw on Saturday. Good opportunity for some of these players just to get into the manager's thoughts ahead of Saturday's league game against Lauren here at Seaview. Good work by Adam Leckie. Just looks to be playing in that pole this evening with Gary Thompson and the returning Philip Laurie. I'm sure we're all glad to see him back out onto the Seaview pitch. Chris Hegarty. finds Patterson just clips the ball and tries to find Johnny Fraser but can't and Mule to do well just to clear their lines comes the captain he gives it a good reflect but Philip Laurie's there as too is Gary Thompson Aiden Wilson Crusaders just keeping the ball just at a Early look, it looks like Adam Leckie is maybe just joining Jordan Owens up there this evening, but he, we know he comes deep. Great ball into the box, but Keeper Moore is there to easily collect. Once again, it's a good flick on. Hegarty is there to tidy up. As far as Barr, he finds... Brandon Doyle who gives it back to Aidan Wilson. Ball is switched all the way across to the right back position to find Patterson. Good touch inside. Jordan Owens tries to find Johnny Fraser but it's cut out. Switch of play there by Philip Laurie but doesn't quite make Brandon Doyle and now it's a opportunity for Moyola but it's sniffed out once again by Crusaders defence Sean O'Neill once again finds Patterson who's had some good early touches so far maybe just over hits that one but Gary Thompson's there to mop it up only as far as Robert McLean who just sends the ball past Sean O'Neill yeah, just come back to the formation for Crusaders it, it almost looks like a 4-4-2 at times with Philip Laurie and Gary Thompson in the middle Adam Leckie joining Jordan Owens but as I said we, we know he likes to come deep and, and get the ball his natural game is not to be that number 9 but the ball is clipped up Jordan Owens is battling away and ball just almost falls to him kindly but it's intercepted once again from Daniel McAhatton the captain Played into the Crusaders box, trying to find what will happen in the game. It's defended well, but the ball looks like it's going to break. Maybe just a high foot there, but the referee decides against it. And Crusaders get themselves up the pitch, but it's a throw in inside the Miola half. breaks Patterson once again he's on this right hand side does a 1-2 with Johnny Fraser Patterson's now overlapping trying to get his cross into the box just wins himself a corner some uh, players there from Miola were just looking at that and suggesting that maybe Patterson got the final touch in the ball but the referee gives a corner kick first corner of the game now for Crusaders Swung in by Brandon Doyle, but good header by the middle of defence. Back out to Brandon Doyle on his right hand side. Gets a ball, teasing ball in. F almost fell to Adam Leckie, but it breaks now to Gary Thompson. He gives it out to Lewis Barr.
good play once again there by Tiernan Rafferty, but Gary Thompson's there just to help Lewis Patterson out. Ball on the right-hand side. Johnny Fraser goes inside, tries to clip a ball. And it's a great ball toward Jordan Owens, who great touch on his left foot. Sorry, his right foot just setting himself up on his left foot, but can't make a solid enough contact to get a shot away. Goal kick now to Mueller. Thompson tries to find Lecky inside. Ball comes out to Aaron Harris. He can't prevent the throw in. Just inside the Crusaders half now. Patterson finds Fraser back to Patterson who goes all the way back to Chris Hegarty. Aidan Wilson clips it out to Lewis Barr. He tries to find the feet of Brandon Doyle but the ball has just run out of play and it's a Mule Park throw in now. Good defending there by Craig McAllister. in these early exchanges it looks like the two front men from Iola Park are in for a war they're putting themselves about good work by Fraser out in this right hand side Patterson looks like he's going to get there to keep it in he does indeed testing ball in the box around the back post is Brandon Doyle takes it on his right foot cuts inside gets a shot away and just inches wide of the goalkeeper's post but great work there from both Fraser and Patterson to get that ball into the box and great feet by Brandon Doyle just can't hit the target but good opportunity so far for Crusaders there good strong header by Chris Hegarty Harris takes the throw in, goes inside, good work there by Gary Thompson, just pressing that ball and forces the ball all the way back to the goalkeeper who seems to take his time over that and can only knock it out for a Crusaders throw in. Crusaders now just starting to settle into this game and find feet. Phil Blory gives it back to Aidan Wilson, he goes out to his left back, Lewis Barr. Aiden switches the ball right across to Johnny Fraser. He takes it down his knee, but it's good work once again off the first time from Aaron Harris just to cut that out, but Crusaders on the break again. It's another throw in. Fraser, just an overlap is Patterson. He doesn't use him at this time, he gives the ball back to Adam Leckie on the right hand side, he puts a ball into the box but doesn't quite make Brandon Doyle does eventually reach Doyle on this left hand side, tries to slip a ball through there to Lewis Barr but just over hits it and goes out for a Mule Park goal kick Patterson just drawn the foul there. Hegarty takes it quickly, tries to find Jordan Owens up the right hand side. Once again, cut out. From the Mula Park centre half. Ball comes in to Adam Leckie. He goes all the way back to Aidan Wilson, who takes it quickly out in this left hand side once again. It's Lewis Barr breaking now. Finds Doyle. He cuts inside. 
on his right foot. Looks like he's going to get a shot away and does indeed, but just not enough to trouble the goalkeeper. Plenty of the ball so far for Brandon Doyle. header by Aidan Wilson but only as far as yeah. Daniel McCatton once again who's done very well so far in these open exchanges here once again Crusaders now break once again to Brandon Doyle he slips it left trying to find Adam Leckie but just overheads the pass and it's knocked out for a Crusaders throw in inside middle of half but it goes all the way back now to Ian Wilson he spreads it across to Chris Hegarty one more will find Patterson once again on this right hand side goes back to Chris Hegarty he puts a ball in the box towards Jordan Owens Jordan Owens gets a great flick on down towards Adam Leggy but the keeper does well just to come out and collect that but great intention there from Jordan Owens and Adam Leggy again by Harris Michael Hallam does well once again just to see off Philip Laurie finds the feet but it's intercepted once again by Crusaders comes out now to Adam Leckie he gives it to Philip Laurie who in turn gives it out to Patterson he's going to put a ball in the box great delivery into the box Adam Leckie is there with a the header and it's Crusaders 1 Myola Park nil. great cross into the box by Lewis Patterson and Adam Leckie is there just a cushion header into the side netting and it's Crusaders 1 Myola Park 0 well work goal there from Crusaders just the intercept the counter attack from Iola found feet. Philip Laurie done really well. Give it out to Patterson, who got a great ball into the box, and Adam Leckie was there just to direct his header and put Crusaders 1 0 up. Good play by Iola. Finds their captain in the middle of the park. He tries to find the striker but doesn't reach him, Gary Thompson does well, now out to Adam Leckie, once again he switches play out to Lewis Patterson, Johnny Fraser is beyond them but Patterson decides to go inside to find Laurie ball's knocked up to Jordan Owens, he gives it back to Chris Hegarty I think from Mayola Park's point of view they probably just have to try and settle themselves and stay calm and not let Crusaders just get a too strong a foothold into this game where they could hurt them in numbers tonight Chris Hegarty finds a good pass to Johnny Fraser, he comes inside all the way, wasn't fouled but looked like he was going to be, still Fraser Adam Leckie just tidies it up and the ball eventually lands back with Aidan Wilson Wilson just steps inside, ball just clipped forward towards Jordan Owens, he is going to get there, Brandon Doyle is there to help him and he does indeed find Brandon Doyle, he puts another teasing ball into the box but it's an easy collect for Morgan Moore. Good header once again by Aidan Wilson, not once but twice, finds Jordan Owens, he gives it out to Lewis Patterson once again, Johnny Fraser's beyond him but Patterson steps inside, finds Leckie. Chris Hegarty gives it out to Thompson, does eventually go to Fraser, lovely wee flicked on pass there to Patterson once again, he's on this right hand side, puts a ball into the box but it's well defended there by Peter McClure oh, 
So another corner to be taken by Brandon Doyle. Ball put in the box. It's deep this time and beats everyone but comes out now to Aidan Wilson. Him and Gary Thompson look like they've gotten each other's way but the ball finally does come to Thompson. He comes inside, gives it back to Lewis Barr. All the way out now to Patterson on the left hand side. Another great ball put in his left foot this time but Johnny Fraser just coming around to the back post but can't get there in time before the ball runs out of play. Looks like he could be in a wee bit of trouble here. No, he's, he's not hurt but just had a collision with the Harry Corey stand good header by Hegarty Good flick round, tries to find Daniel Barfoot, but he doesn't get there. But Moyola Park win themselves a throw in inside the Crusaders' half. Harris clips it forward, just signals of an offside flag, doesn't go up just yet. But once the player gets there, the linesman does eventually put his flag up for an offside. Sean O'Neill takes it quickly out to Aidan Wilson. Now on this left hand side once again, two full backs of Crusaders seeing plenty of the ball so far. Ball comes out to Brandon Doyle. Hegarty inside finds Doyle once again, who's come inside to get the ball this time. Jordan Owens is out in that left hand side, tries to find Philip Laurie, but doesn't get there. Chris Hegarty just steps in to win his side the ball back. Patterson out to Fraser on the right hand side. Good pass into Brandon Doyle. <laughs> Lovely wee pass by Philip Laurie. Brandon Doyle on his left hand side, but it is. I think the final touch there was actually the shot got away by Adam Leckie. And Crusaders are now 2 0 up. Great work there by Brandon Doyle, Philip Laurie, lovely wee flick pass back. Just looked like Brandon Doyle was gonna was gonna hit the shot there, but I think it was Adam Leckie who eventually did. It's now Crusaders two. This could be a long evening for Moyola Park if they or to concede any more in this half, but they've actually done very well battling. Just it's a bit of a golfing class at the minute, and they probably just need to calm things down and, and try and defend their lines and, and get a good shape around. And in particularly the wide areas where Crusaders are having their most joy with balls coming into the box. It's two goals already for Adam Leckie in this game. Player obviously hasn't featured too much this season made his only start at Windsor Park against Limfield in the opening day but wasn't included in the Portadown or Cliftonville game so he'll be trying to work his way back into the side in particular for Saturday against Lauren. Jordan Owens all the way back to Chris Hegarty Brandon Doyle once again Still running with the ball. Out left we'll find Patterson. Don't think he made the pass, but nonetheless Patterson comes out with the ball. Gives it back to Gary Thompson, who's running into the box. Finds Brandon Doyle and just a wee clip shot there, but I think it's taken a deflection and Crusaders have earned themselves another corner. Brandon Doyle is making his way out once again to take the corner.
Glen Avon are also 1 0 up against Port Stewart this evening. Duncan and Swifts. Sorry. I've just been checking the scores out, and apparently Duncan are playing Port Stewart as Tier Glen Avon. Not sure how that one works. Glen Thorne are 1 0 up at against Bambridge Town. And as we said, it's 2 0 here at Seaview. In Wilson gets his head on it and again. Maybe just a high foot there and the referee's gonna have a quick word with Aidan Wilson. Yeah, as he calls him over. I don't think there was intention there, but he definitely caught him quite high. Just Sean O'Neill watches that one comfortably go over his bar. Taken quickly by O'Neill, he finds Hegarty. Out now to Aidan Wilson, who steps in once again. Clip forward towards Brandon Doyle, but it's intercepted well there by McAllister. Thompson. Owens gives it back to Patterson once again. Another ball put forward trying to get Gary Thompson, but it's easily watched by Peter McClure to run out of play for another goal kick. Chris Hegarty's going to challenge, comes off best, get a good head on that. Good work by Thompson. Hegarty comes with the ball, comes out, gives it to Thompson. Out on the right hand side to Patterson, he decides to go in just over the head of Philip Laurie, right out to his opposite fullback, Lewis Barr, who now travels down this left hand side. He's joined by Brandon Doyle, doesn't need him, but just tries to go inside and over hits the ball and it's easily cut out and runs out of play for another goal kick to Moola Park. Good header again from the goal kick by Wilson. Rachel Mullen done well to win that one, but it's clipped forward now. Hegarty is there. Challenging Tiernan Rafferty, who is going down, but he looks to be getting back up. Another lively few challenges in there over the last few seconds, but it comes out now to Crusaders throw in. Taken up by Patterson, he finds Jordan Owens. Good work by Tolan. It's another Myola Park throw in. Just underneath us, Stephen Baxter is telling a side to release the ball quicker and let the ball do the work. I think he wasn't happy with too many players running with the ball. Lecker, sorry, Lecky gave a shout there to Fraser, but it wasn't acknowledged, the ball now breaks once again to Daniel McAhaden, he tries to clip it forward to find Barfoot but the ball is going to run into play it's Crusaders goal kick this time taken quickly once again by Crusaders Doyle gives it back to Wilson Thompson inside to find Lecky, he gives it out to Patterson once again. Thompson finds Fraser up 
down the right hand side, great touch by Johnny Fraser. Tries to step inside, but it's just cut out again by Peter McClure, good defending. Thompson, Patterson gets a good cross into the box. It's Lecky is there once again with, and gets a shot away, but good defending by Moola Park, and it's another Crusaders corner. Lecky goes short but just spins away from his man. Brandon Doyle's going to put this one in. Plenty of bodies to aim for. Looks to be fine. Jordan Owens but it's good defending. But ball comes back out to Brandon Doyle. On this right hand side on the overlap is Gary Thompson. Used as a decoy and comes in his left hand side. Another testing ball put into the back post. and I'm not sure at this stage who got the final head on that. But it was a great play there by Brandon Doyle. I think it was Aidan Wilson. I think the Crusaders players were queuing up at the back post and done well to get their header away, but didn't hit the target. Goal kick taken again, it looks to reach Aidan Wilson. He does well with his head, not for the first time today in these goal kicks. I think the Mula Park goalkeeper just needs to probably send some of these out wide and try and do something different because Chris Haggerty and Aidan Wilson have been mopping these up all evening so far. Philip Laurie lets it run to Thompson. Good pass out to Fraser. On the overlap is Patterson but Fraser does eventually try and play the ball to him but good defending once again by Stuart Forrest. It's always a big ask for Mayola Park to come to Seaview and, and get a positive result but from their point of view it's a great experience and it'll serve them well in the league campaign but they, they're they really battling for every ball I have to say here this evening it's just in those wide areas they probably need to stop the balls coming into the box so easily Barr again gives it back to Wilson Crusaders have just taken the sting out of this a bit Chris Hegarty goes long to find Fraser he looks like he's beat the offside trap Ball once again being put into the box and it's knocked out for another Crusaders corner. That's probably five or six of these corners so far in the first half. Good ball in. Jordan Owens. They probably just jumped too early and hit off him rather than getting any controlled header on it put back into the mix by Aidan Wilson but it runs all the way through to the goalkeeper good play there good play there by Daniel Barford he wins the side of free kick but great feat Free kick's going to be taken by Aaron Harris. Just looking at the setup. I don't think Moyola Park are taking too many risks and sending too many people forward as the ball is clipped forward. Beats Wilson, but Barr is there to tidy it up. He tries to find Adam Leckie, who gets enough on it, and the ball comes out now to Patterson. He lays it back to Sean O'Neill. Nice to see Sean in between the sticks as well this evening. He it's been a while since he's played a competitive game. Philip Laurie. Good pass out to find Barr once again. Brandon Doyle, good defending by McAllister, but Brandon Doyle comes out with the ball. He opts to go all the way back to Aidan Wilson. Laurie finds Thompson.
McAllister now for Mueller Park. The right hand side goes inside to find Tolan. He lays it back, but ball is clipped forward and it's not enough Mueller Park men up there. And comes out once again to Lewis Patterson. He gives it back to his centre half. Hegarty goes long once again trying to find Patterson. Good defending once again by Hegarty. He goes back to Wilson. Chased down by Barfoot. So Sean O'Neill collects the ball. Gives it out in his left hand side the bar once again. He travels inside the Miola half. Gives it to Brandon Doyle on his left foot. Great feet from Brandon Doyle. But tidied up by Laurie, good pass, good fizzed pass into Adam Leckie, he's still got hold of the ball and just a loose pass there and gives up possession for Crusaders but we will have a chance now to break but not too many men getting forward and getting out of their half, probably just more concerned about Crusaders hitting them on the counter once they win the ball back which they now have, it's Adam Leckie, and gives it to Chris Hegarty inside to find Gary Thompson Thompson tries to find Fraser, but pass doesn't reach him. Good header by Fraser. All the way back to Lewis Barr, Thompson now. Barr once again steps in, gives it back to Gary Thompson, he spreads it across to the right fullback Patterson. Fraser's there to help him, Fraser does eventually come to Fraser, he goes inside but gives it back to Thompson, Philip Laurie. Good ball retention here from Crusaders now, just keeping the ball and trying to open up the spaces to get their third goal, clipped in by Hegarty to find Adam Leckie. Does well just to hold that ball up, but does actually break there to Mayola Park, who done well to intercept that. He, I think it was Stuart Forrest, just tried to find Barfoot once again, but overhead pass. But 10 minutes left to go here in the first half at Seaview. It's Crusaders 2. Mill Park no <laughs> kicks it clear but Chris Hegarty's gonna be there, gets a good strong head on it, but probably too much height if anything and but Mill Park are just struggling to clear their lines right now, every time they do the ball just comes back to them, good flick around the corner there by Jordan Owens, he's busting to get back into the box, he's on this right hand side by Fraser puts a ball in, goes back out to Johnny Fraser and just on his left foot tried to find Brandon Doyle but that just went over his head you see when Jordan Owens gives that ball out and he's just underneath me here and he's busting to get back into the box there's a great pass to Johnny Fraser Adam Leckie, great touch down to Philip Laurie. He's driving in, trying to find Johnny Fraser, who takes a great first touch, but it's a good tackle there from Harris, who looks like he may have just hurt himself in the in the challenge on Fraser, but it was a great tackle nonetheless. Referee's just calling for the physio to come on. Hopefully he's okay and gonna continue. He's been a very good solid fullback this evening.
as we've said earlier, another massive game coming up at the weekend for Crusaders as Lauren here on beaten so far come to see you. It's always a tough place to come for any team, but obviously with the fans now back in the ground it's particularly hard and we're hoping that the fans will all be here making lots of noise and encouraging Crusaders to get a much needed three points. Very unlucky on Saturday in some ways. They uh, thought they'd done very well with them without the ball, but as football we all know it. It only takes one one moment, one goal. And it definitely felt like a defeat leaving here on Saturday. Harris is now back on his feet. He's just made his way over to the touchline, but hopefully he's going to continue. Patterson just gives it back to Moore. Taken by Moore. Chris Hager is there once again to get ahead on that. Just a strong challenge there from Michael Tolan. Referee judged that he's fouled Adam Leckie. He struggles just to get up. He does eventually. Philip Laurie gives it quickly to Lecky. He finds Patterson quickly back on his feet there to receive the ball. Doyle finds Laurie. Gives a good pass out on the left-hand side. Once again, the bar. He goes inside trying to find Brandon Doyle, who had two players on him but done really well just to keep the ball and find Thompson. Hegarty. Goes right out to the right fullback to find Patterson. He steps inside as he's often done this evening, but gets the ball back from Thompson. Johnny Fraser's on up his line, just gives him a, a wee look as if to say, Let's do it nice and early, please. Hegarty steps inside the middle of the park half. Ball clipped in towards Adam Leckie, who's beat the offside trap. Good feet by Adam. He hits it out right to find Patterson. Patterson. Another dangerous ball in the box, takes a deflection, and the goalkeeper does well just to punch that clear, but only as far as Barr on the left-hand side. He goes all the way back to Aidan Wilson, who gives the ball back to him, gets it back once again. Crusaders happy enough just to keep the ball, no mad rush to get in the box, but Hegarty finds Johnny Fraser, good touch inside, tries to... Do a 1-2 with Adam Leckie, but the pass doesn't make it, and it's broke out once again. Good feet from the Mueller Park captain. Chance now for him to break. Down this right-hand side, puts a ball into the box, and Philip Laurie's there just to tap it away, but only as far out to Tieran Rafferty, who does well to get a good shot away, but it's once again, Sean O'Neill just watches that go over his bar, and no real danger, but better play there. From the intermediate side. Thompson finds Adam Lecky. That ball has just run out of play. And it's a Mayola throw in. Last few minutes here of the half. Crusaders 2, Mula Park 0. Two goals courtesy of Adam Leckie. Bar, good feet, just getting a wee tug back, but referee, referee plays on as Crusaders break with the ball, but it's now with Hegarty, he comes one more to find Lewis Patterson, steps inside in his right foot, finds Jordan Owens, he gives it back out to Philip Laurie, good pass out the right hand side to find Fraser once again, quick feed from Johnny Fraser, gets another ball in the box, comes to Adam Leckie once again on the head and just doesn't get enough on that, probably should have been 3-0 and 
and the match ball for Adam Leckie but just didn't get a strong enough connection on it but great work from Philip Laurie that early pass down the right hand side to find Fraser and not for the first time he puts another dangerous ball into the box Flicked on by Emile Park. Turning Rafferty. Some players made a good start in this game. Just fizzling out now as the CVU side just got a foot in the ball. And it's always about not conceding that first goal and, and delaying it as long as possible. And at 2-0 they're still in the game they just got to try and cut the crosses out as we said earlier and try and keep the ball better they're getting into good positions but final third they just the pass is, is going wayward Philip Laurie Adam Leckie just gives the ball away cheaply there and Aidan Wilson is there thankfully to Stop a Miola attack. Hegarty tries to find Johnny Fraser once again. He might get there, but he's judged to be offside. kick is taken I think Boris challenged by M Michael Hatton who gets there first but Crusaders retain the ball all the way home now to Sean O'Neill gives it back out to Aidan Wilson who just finds Barr who's plenty of space to run into Brandon Doyle is inside him he does eventually find him and it's another ball played out by Doyle just to return that ball to, to Lewis Barr but it's good defending there in the end I think it was Robert McLean who done that but good ball again by Barr Jordan Owens is coming around the back and does get his head on it but always asking a lot for Jordan to, to get that back across goal Just into the final minute here of the half. Or not. <laughs> Referee may have blown that up slightly early, but it's Crusaders 2, Moriola Park 0. Both goals scored by Adam Leckie. Plenty of chances this evening so far from Crusaders. Adam Leckie arguably could have had the match ball already in the bag, but just couldn't make enough contact. We'll be joined for the second half shortly. Thank you very much.
Welcome back to the second half here at Seaview. It's Crusaders 2, Moyola Park 0. In the second round of the Bet McLean League Cup. We didn't have the League Cup last year with coronavirus, but the last time this competition was played, it was Crusaders who were beaten finalists by Cool Rain at Windsor Park in February 2019. Philip Laurie gets us on their way in this second half. Ball comes out now to Aidan Wilson. Bar. 11 changes this evening in this Crusader side from the one that started against Cliftonville here last Saturday. Good opportunity for these players. Just to get some minutes into the legs. No, some returning from long-term injuries. Chris Hegarty hasn't played a lot of football. Philip Laurie's returning this evening. Aidan Wilson also returning from injury. Philip Laurie now on the ball. Finds Brandon Doyle. He was on loan at Warren Point Town last year. Had a very good season. Signed for Crusaders in the summer Hegarty tries to find Jordan Owens great ball out Jordan Owens just takes it on the shoulder but I think the linesman has ruled him out for offside and I think Robert McLean's just trying to steal some yards there and get a side up the pitch but not too many protests from Crusaders clipped in good header by Wilson once again it's Crusaders throw in be taken by Lewis Barr finds Leckie good clip pass to Brandon Doyle he's fouled there by Michael Tolan and Crusaders have got a free kick We've seen on Saturday these dangerous free kicks, in particular Ben Kennedy, he was putting them in, but Crusaders up to take it quickly. Gary Thompson down the left hand side, just in the underlap is Lewis Barr. He does try and get his cross in, but it's cut out, only as far out to Phil Laurie. He goes back to Chris Hegarty, taken quickly to Patterson. He finds Johnny Fraser out in the right hand side, cuts in, gives it back to Thompson. Good touch with the Philip Larry tries to find Fraser, just cut out by Miola. Only as far now to Lewis Barr. Once again, this early ex exchanges of the second half, Miola Parker struggling just to clear their lines and, and get out and up the pitch. But it's good pressure once again by Crusaders. I think their manager will probably just tell them to quicken things up this this half, even though they they scored two goals. It, couple of silly passes going astray and so forth and they'll probably just want to speed everything up here in this second half and up the energy levels and intensity good pressure there from Thompson ball breaks to him now to Adam Leckie but just can't get the ball under control and Tolan is there asking for a free kick and it's not given the ball now is going to run out of play and Sean O'Neill is giving Lewis Barr a good outlet there just to take that quickly and he does indeed inside to Aidan Wilson Hegarty Leckie finds Johnny Fraser he returns it to Leckie and he gives it back out to Johnny Fraser he's there and he does very well to get his foot just in front of that tries to cut in over Riso Mullen who does well defensively but the ball once again is just not sticking and comes back out now to Crusaders Gary Thompson ball's played into Adam Leckie he just tries to flick it into Philip Laurie but it doesn't fall to him but the ball is now broke to Brandon Doyle in this left hand side great feet from Brandon Doyle he's three players now around him great step over again tries to get his ball into the box and just overruns it and the ball goes out of play but just an illustration there of Brandon Doyle and his technical capabilities because he's got really quick feet 
nice pace. You may remember him scoring here at Seaview last year for Warren Point. He was also here a few years ago in the youth team setup before signing for Linfield. I know Linfield were actually keen to, to re-sign him this year, but he opted to come back to, to Crusaders. Had to wait patiently so far to get in this team, but when he does come on, he, he looks very lively. Barfoot tries to get that under control, but it's well worked by Gary Thompson, and referee was looking for an advantage. There was none, so blows it back for a free kick. Patterson finds Fraser again. Good ball into the box, trying to find Jordan Owens, and the keeper does enough just to palm that, and Craig McAllister has to just deal with it, but concedes a throw-in deep inside their own half. Better pressure now from Crusaders. Aidan Wilson goes across to his centre half partner he gets it back Crusaders have done very well with his passing tonight nothing's went long too early it's all been very well worked and in particularly in the wide areas seem to be causing the most problems Gary Thompson does well good defending once again by Craig McAllister just to block out Gary Thompson from getting down that left hand side there's a player down here for Moola Park and it looks like it's their skipper, Michael, sorry, Daniel McAhatton, who has shown lots of promise this evening, bags of energy and he's been battling away with Gary Thompson in particular this evening. against Bangor. Lauren are 1-0 up against Limavada United, courtesy of Kofi Bomber. That's 4-0 now at the Oval. Glen Torn take on Bambridge Town. He drew with this side, Moola Park in the last league fixture, one each. Ball comes out the bar. Also on the bench this evening is Johnny Black, who Signed on the last day of the transfer window. I know after speaking to him, he's probably still another wee couple of weeks away from from fitness, and maybe we'll see maybe 10 or 15 minutes of him this evening as he tries to get his fitness levels up. So, you know, it was eight years ago since he was last playing in the Premiership with Linfield. by Wilson comes to Brandon Doyle he tries to flick it over the top of McAllister but ball breaks now to Daniel McAhatton who's doing well but Thompson is there once again with an interception Doyle just clips it on down towards Adam Leckie he gets his body in front lays it back to Jordan Owens on his left foot probably not where he wanted it just took a heavy touch and gave up possession but it's came all the way back to Aidan Wilson he gives it to Sean O'Neill Barr finds Wilson once again nice to see Wilson back on this side I know he showed lots of promise last year was unlucky with some injuries and he's moved over from Scotland after spending some time on loan away from Rangers throw in here to Crusaders taken by Adam Leckie he gives it back to Chris Hegarty Thompson Segerty just steps inside, goes to feet of Adam Leckie who's searching for his hat trick, gives it out to Patterson once again on this right hand side, comes in his left foot, gets a ball in the box, good header there by Jordan Owens and Adam Leckie is offside but also can't keep his header down, Jordan Owens just clipped that one forward towards him but I think it was clear for everyone to see that he was offside by a country mile. Good header by Michael Hatton once again. It's gonna. Ian Wilson's just gonna see that one out. 
and take the throw in. Doyle gives it back to Barr. He is beaten there by Michael Hatton once again, who's on his heels out on his right hand side. Good defending once again by Gary Thompson, but I think the fourth official on this side, or maybe just the linesman, had indicated for that Gary Thompson had fouled him. Hempfield now 2 0 up at Ballyclare Comrades. Both goals scored there by Stephen Fallon. Free kick to be taken by Tiernan Rafferty here for Myola Park. Ball drilled in the box. It looks like a free header there for Riso Mullen, but didn't get anything on it. And it goes over now for another goal kick to Crusaders. That was probably a good opportunity just to test Sean O'Neill for Myola, but he wasn't able to get anything on that head. There's Bart. Wilson finds Brandon Doyle who's just come inside to collect the ball. He hits it out towards Lewis Patterson down this right hand side. Steps in, tries to find Johnny Fraser who looks like he's going to get there. Another ball clipped in towards Jordan Owens and Jordan Owens once again gets a good head on the ball and Adam Leckie's coming in around the back but just can't get there in time. Takes this one, trying to find Michael Halton, who does well to get ahead on it. Aidan Wilson just has to knock that out for a throw in. Good work by Michael Tolan. Ball's just pinball now, just bounces off the head of Aidan Wilson. He swings his left foot at it down towards Doyle, he can't get there, good work by McAllister, yeah I think it was Rafferty just coming back from an offside position there and just lets it be and run out for a goal kick. Played up to Adam Leckie, he gives it back to Bart. Adam Leckie once again just shrugs off Riso Mullen. Does well to find Patterson down the right hand side. He knocks it out towards Fraser. He's coming inside. Maybe just trying to get a shot away on his left foot. Does indeed get it. Just hits off the upright and back out. And the ball kindly falls to Lewis Patterson who sees it out for a throw in. Good work there by Johnny Fraser just to get that shot away on his left, on his left foot. Gives it back to Patterson. Good work with Gary Thompson. Clip forward once again. Good touch there by Fraser. Tries to go through the legs of Barfoot, but doesn't. Throw in now to Mayola Park. Hegarty clips it towards Jordan Owens. Good defending there by Peter McClure once again. Barfoot clips it in towards Stuart Forrest, but he doesn't get there. It's good defending there from Crusaders.
Rafferty. He's chased out there by Barr, but he does well to find Barfoot. His takes a strong touch and it's cut out by Patterson up to Jordan Owens. Ball comes out now to Gary Thompson. And gives it back to Chris Hegarty just to change of direction here and able to spread the ball out in this left hand side. Now he comes to Barr. He travels into the Mayola Park half. Brandon Doyle is just out on the outside of him. He goes inside to find Gary Thompson, who's travelling some way on channel, still working his way towards the 18 yard box. Gives it out to Johnny Fraser. Johnny Fraser's going to put another ball in the box. Comes to Adam Leckie. Flicks off Philip Laurie, and Adam Leckie is there for the match ball and Crusaders' third of the night. And it's 3 0. Three goals from Adam Leckie. Just a ball ricocheted there and hit off Philip Laurie. Probably some. A bit of luck in that goal, but Adam Leckie won't mind. It's 3-0. Great work from Crusaders. Once again, Johnny Fraser putting another dangerous ball into the box. It's been said it earlier on. It's been, it's been working all night when Crusaders get the ball wide and, and are putting those dangerous balls into the box, as they've often done from the fullbacks and, and also Johnny Fraser and Brandon Doyle. It's 3-0 now to Crusaders. Ball runs all the way. Hegarty just cushion headers it back to his goalkeeper. He gives it out wide to Barr. Fraser. All the way back to Chris Hegarty. Great feed again by Brandon Doyle. He gives it out to Barr. Inside will find Philip Laurie. Lays it back once again to Brandon Doyle. Leckie tries to find Patterson who does get there. This is a tough night for Myola Park now. In particular when Crusaders just retain the ball as they're doing tonight. And making them work off the ball really hard. Philip Laurie goes inside. Brandon Doyle knocks it all the way back to Ian Wilson. Good encouraging words there from Sean O'Neill, just telling his team to keep the ball. Don't be forcing it. The ball just runs out of play on the right-hand side there from Johnny Fraser. Rafferty does well. Fine inside to Tolan. He gives it back to his centre half. He goes long, trying to find... Michael Hatton who flicks it on towards Barfoot but Hegarty is there to mop it up just, a wee, oh, just unlucky there from Michael Hatton once again and Gary Thompson does well but he actually keeps it in for the Mayola Park captain Barfoot tries to slip the ball through to Rafferty but doesn't make it and Sean O'Neill is there just to collect the ball once again, gives it out to Gary Thompson ball breaks now to Philip Laurie Brandon Doyle down the left hand side being encouraged to beat his man he does beat one good play once again by Brandon Doyle as Robert McLean comes out to challenge him ball's clipped into the box out now as far as Johnny Fraser on his right hand side clips it back in towards Jordan Owens and Jordan Owens gets his header there to make it 4-0 to Crusaders another great piece of play from Johnny Fraser Another assist this evening and Johnny Fraser has done very well all night just to put those balls back into the box in particular when, when Jordan Owens is there and Adam Leckie as we've seen throughout the course of the night but good play and it's now 4-0 to Crusaders. Well, the park will just want to keep some, some dignity the night and not concede any more goals but it is 4-0 here at Seaview. We're probably going to see some changes from Crusaders coming up shortly. Some names on the bench. I think young James Holland's probably going to get a run out this evening. It's a throw in now to Miola Park.
Good work from Barfoot, gives it back to McAllister, but there's nobody in the box for his cross, and Sean O'Neill is there to collect it, rolls it out quickly to Patterson once again. Johnny Fraser is on the overlap, he finds Fraser down this right-hand side. Jordan Owens is just putting his finger up to, to say put the ball in the box. It looks like Fraser's maybe just overran that one, and it's collected by the Mayola captain once again, but Chris Hegarty is there just to help his team out. Looks like Johnny Fraser is going to need just a wee bit of attention here because he's he stayed down and, and I think the physio of Crusaders has maybe just got the call to nope just looks like he's going to be back on his feet and he's going to be okay that old chestnut when you make a mistake and overrun it then the best thing to do is go down and make sure you, you're telling everybody you were hurt not suggesting of course that that's what happened but personal experience now we are going to see some changes here from Crusaders it's James Holland going to be replacing Adam Leckie who has the match ball tonight and also Johnny Black for his first outing in the Crusaders shirt is going to replace Gary Thompson just going to be interesting to see how Johnny Black and where he goes looks like he might be going into centre half with Chris Hegarty and Aidan Wilson's maybe just going to step into the midfield and take up Gary Thompson's position I know Aidan Wilson playing centre midfield we've seen 10 minutes of it on Saturday I know he's a player that's capable of playing in there he's got many of the attributes and I think that might be a position that the manager utilises him in this year. Just another wee experience night for him to go in there and see how he does. Brandon Doyle on the left hand side gives it back to Johnny Black to get early touches on his belt and pings across a ball to the full back along the ground and looked nice as it was right behind that. We all recall the goal that he scored for Corian from his own half. He's got a wand of a left foot. Moore kicks it wide. Good header there by Wilson. James Holland tries to challenge for it, but the ball breaks now to Philip Laurie, who is cool, calm, and collected as ever. Pings the ball out to Johnny Fraser once again down this right hand side. Johnny comes inside. Good pass to Philip Laurie, and he, I think, Philip probably just tried to dink that one and didn't get the elevation on the on the shot but he'll also be reasonably pleased with his workout tonight good to get him back on the pitch and some minutes on the legs he didn't do an awful lot over pre-season I think he after working with him on commentary he was very much in the gym and just trying to get back to some levels of fitness so this will definitely do him no harm tonight and hopefully we'll see him back in the upcoming league games a couple of changes here for Mayola Park as well Tom Patchett's going to come on. As two is Ben Mitchell and Connor Logue. Good header by Barr. Jordan Owens, oh, just tried to take that one down. Looked like James Holm was going to play on the shoulder, but the ball comes out now to Brandon Doyle. He's challenged by McAllister, but steps by him. Robert McLean comes out to help and concedes a corner for Crusaders. Corner once again here to be taken by Brandon Doyle. Another deep ball into the box. Just goes over the head of Chris Hegarty and comes out to Johnny Fraser and he puts it high over the bar on his left foot. Finds McAllister, but 
Aiden Wilson's there, down the left hand side, goes inside to find Doyle, he gives it back to Lewis Barr, all the way back to Johnny Black once again, good early touches for him, Chris Hegarty. Black switches it on his right foot all the way over to Lewis Patterson. Sean O'Neill just tries to find Barr, takes it down his chest and just opens up and gives it to Wilson who goes back to Johnny Black. Patterson finds Jordan Owens, he tries to help it on its way to Johnny Fraser but it goes out for a Crusaders throw in once again, Wilson, good touch by Wilson inside and finds Philip Laurie, he gives it out to Johnny Black and he helps it on his way quickly to Lewis Barr, once again Jordan Owens is in the box as to is James Hall, comes out to Owens, Wilson just tries to get his body in front of it but forgets about the ball and it's good defending once again by Chris Hegarty to Headed all the way back to Sean O'Neill. Patterson. Finds James Holland. He gets it back from Patterson. Just a bit congested over there. And Crusaders have to be careful as they give up possession. And just down in front of me, I think Stephen Baxter and Jeff Spears are saying that's it very same thing, it's just very congested in there and they got to move the ball quicker but Ben Mitchell, good tackle there by Philip Laurie and Johnny Fraser now breaks, great feet from Johnny Fraser, he has to go alone because there's nobody else helping him and just for a second we thought he was going to do it but comes out to Aidan Wilson, he finds a pass out on the left hand side to Brandon Doyle looks like he's going to come in his right hand side gives it to James Hall, takes a bit of a heavy touch but comes out the bar another drilled ball across the front to goal and Jordan Owens was maybe just a a yard late there it would have been would have been another goal for him but it is indeed a deflection on that and it's a, another Crusaders corner 4-0 here at Seaview 3 from Adam Leckie and 1 from Jordan Owens 15 minutes left to go here at Seaview ball comes in this time doesn't beat the first man centre halves will not be happy about that when they make their way up and a corner comes in and doesn't beat that first man but nonetheless it's a throw in now to Crusaders I think Brandon Doyle just acknowledged that poor corner coming into the box Holland gives it back to Patterson but runs out of play and it's a throw in this time to Mayola Park I'll be hoping just to take a sting out of this game and not concede anymore. They've made three changes so far. Just a mix up between Fraser and Patterson and the ball now breaks. But Tolan gives it away and the ball comes out now to Philip Laurie. Gives it out left to Brandon Doyle. Once again looks like he's on his favourable right foot. Comes in his left and maybe just touches off his chest but he does well to keep the ball in play couple of Ronaldo West step overs there and dangerous ball into the box and it's good defending there from Robert McLean another corner now to Crusaders corner, plenty of height again looks like Chris Hegarty's going to get ahead on it and he puts it back into the mix and Jordan Owens is there once again for another reasonably easy header but we've said that over the years and Jordan Owens always seems to be in the right place at the right time and it's now Crusaders 5, Myola Park nil. it's 2 for Jordan Owens he'll also be looking for that very same match ball as Adam Leggy will be running out of the stadium with it's 2 goals for him I think everybody in the stadium are really glad to see that.
5-0 now, the Crusaders. Yes, and you may have just heard that. Verhul McGarity has come on for centre half Robert McLean. I think Crusaders just underneath are also going to make another change. Yes, it's Ben Kennedy and Johnny McMurray who are going to come on and Philip Laurie this evening. It's good minutes in the legs for him. He'll be happy enough with that just to ease himself back in. Jordan Owens is also giving way for Johnny McMurray. He's not going to get an opportunity to get that third goal but it's a very loud round of applause here from the Crusader supporters. And just as Mule of Park's evening wasn't difficult enough, they now have to deal with Ben Kennedy and Jonathan McMurray coming on. Headed back by Patterson and Sean O'Neill does well to keep that in. Throws it forward quickly to Johnny Black. He finds Brandon Doyle down this left hand side. Another through ball there to Johnny McMurray, but I think the flag is going to go up for offside. clipped forward by the goalkeeper but Johnny Black is there good work there from Daniel McElhatton once again but Crusaders win back the ball ball breaks now to Barr on the overlap is Brandon Doyle one more will find Ben Kennedy down this left hand side he opted to go first time and get a ball into the box but well the defender was there just to cut that out and can see the throw in Doyle Kennedy just the outside of the boot tries to find Aidan Wilson but passes just over hit and good play though by Ben Kennedy very calmly done knocks it back to Barr he gives it to Brandon Doyle ball comes back to Ben Kennedy Johnny Black now cross field pass to his right sided fullback Fraser Johnny Black finds Lewis Barr once again Holland Paul comes out now to McMurray he goes out to Patterson once again Wilson Johnny Black finds Ben Kennedy. Great ball by Ben Kennedy trying to find Johnny Fraser. It's a good first touch. Just needed to get his body in front and half heartedly appeals for a penalty there, but the ref isn't interested. Good decision there just to head that out by Chris Hegarty and take no chances as I think he was pretty much on his own there, so concedes a throw in, but good defensive work by Chris Hegarty. Michael Hatton, oh, he's challenged there by Johnny Black, and I think he, he was late, and it's a free kick to Mayola Park. Ball 
put in. Good defending once again by Chris Hegarty. It finds Johnny Fraser. He opts to go first time and try and give Brandon Doyle a run, who is showing lightning pace. But it's good defending there by Ben Mitchell and knocks it back to his goalkeeper, who only can only knock the ball out of play. Kennedy. Tries to find Doyle, but good defending there from Maiola. Holland does enough just to knock that ball back to Wilson. He goes down this right-hand side to find Lewis Patterson once again. Inside to Aidan Wilson. McMurray knocks it back to Chris Hegarty. Play by Hegarty to find Johnny Black. Lewis Barr to Holland. Gets it back to Barr and gives it one more to Brandon Doyle on his left hand side. Holland finds Aidan Wilson. It's good attention of the ball there from Crusaders and all the way across now to Lewis Patterson. He finds Johnny Fraser on the right hand side. Beats his man. Another dangerous ball put into the box, and it's a good head there by James Holm, but just can't turn his head enough and direct that header towards goal. Great play once again from Johnny Fraser. Neil Parker are going to make another change here. Yes, Mark Farley is coming on for the captain, Daniel McAhatton, who has done very, very well indeed this evening. Probably the Mayola man of the match, in my opinion, tonight for what he's done. Pullen heads it back. Good hard tackle there from Johnny Black to, to find Johnny McMurray on the right hand side. Looks like McMurray does enough to win a side a corner and Ben Kennedy now is going to take this corner. Brandon Doyle seems to have taken corner kicks from both sides this evening but now Ben Kennedy's on the pitch and we know what he can do. Kennedy Teasing ball into McMurray, gets a flick on it, but ball goes out in the end for a goal kick. About six minutes left here at Seaview this evening. It's Crusaders 5, Mule Park 0. Flick on by Wilson and Fraser. And the substitute. Mark Farley is chasing that one down, but Chris Hegarty does well. Patterson inside to Aidan Wilson. There's a good touch away from the centre midfielder. And James Hall now has the ball running in the middle of the park half. Finds Brandon Doyle down this left hand side. He's got two players around him, another quick step over, ball put into the box and it's easily cut out there from Reese Mullen but only as far to as Barr and he gets a shot across and makes a goalkeeper make a save. Good feed by Hegarty to knock it out to Lewis Patterson on the right hand side. Ball clicked in and McMurray challenges but good defending there. McAllister gets a foot on it to Rafferty. Ball now breaks to Mula Park. And it's good defending once again from Crusaders. Ball comes out once again to Brandon Doyle on the left hand side. Tries to get across or a shot across and it just hits the roof of the net. He'll be disappointed with that. Aidan 
Wilson, good strong head on that and tries to find Johnny Fraser. He's knocked out for a Crusaders throw in once again. Holland gives it out to Patterson. He decides to go all the way back to Johnny Black. He gives it left to Lewis Barr, just hits the ball into space. Barr now tries to find Ben Kennedy, takes a great touch away from his marker. Out to Brandon Doyle. He gives it then to Johnny Black. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but Crusaders then just give up possession and an opportunity for Moyola Park to hit them on the counter. And they do indeed. It's good defending there from Lewis Patterson with a great tackle. I think it was Mark Farley who done really well, and Sean O'Neill is also there to make a tackle, but great defending from young Lewis Patterson. He was one on one there, and he done well just to protect his goalkeeper and his team's clean sheet. McAllister leads it back to Ben Mitchell. McAllister once again. Rafferty goes out left. The ball is put into the box and Sean O'Neill is telling his def defenders to let it be and stay calm. And it's good defending there from Barr to find Ben Kennedy. Just trying to get a side out. Johnny McMurray's come in very deep just to get the ball. And it's down now just as we cross the halfway line with Ben Kennedy. He gets the ball back off Patterson and Shader's in a no rush here, but just keeping the ball. Johnny Black, just instructions there from the manager to tell him to work the ball quicker because they just went a bit lethargic there for a minute. Good play by McMurray. He does a 1-2 with James Hall. Ball still out now, right hand side for McMurray and does well to get a shot across, but under pressure, leaning back and just a difficult one to try and make the keeper work. And you may have heard there just from Michael introducing the man of the match this evening is the hat trick hero Adam Leckie. I think it's hard to argue with that when when you score three goals. Wilson. He's also had a very solid game this evening. Ball now comes out to Johnny McMurray. He just took his eyes off the ball for a second and it ran on past him. Moyola now with McAllister. Good pressure there from Doyle and McMurray almost gets it. Wilson pressures the Moyola centre midfielder but the ball now comes out on this right hand side. It's a teasing ball in there just trying to find the Substitute Tom Patchett, but he can't do it. And Crusaders once again regain possession of the ball. Johnny Black moving the ball very quickly to Barr. He gets it back then from Barr and finds Eden Wilson. Patterson. Good work from Johnny Black. He finds Brandon Doyle on this left hand side once again. Comes in this time on his right foot. James Holland is crowded out and they give up possession. The ball breaks to McAllister who just gives Holland the eyes and does again and finds Tolan. Good play there for Mayola, but they probably just want to try and get out here. Pass inside. Good play from Rafferty. Well, Mullen does well as Johnny Fraser was coming in and it's very well worked for Mayola to get their get their team out and up the pitch. And equally good pressure from Fraser. Good play there from Mayola, but the ball runs through. Mark Farley, who've come on who's come on, sorry, for Mayola, looks to have bags of energy and plenty of pace. He was unlucky there as Sean, Sean O'Neill just read that one and come off his line to collect it, but Good passage of play there from Mayola. Black gives it out to Chris Hegarty. Ben. 
trying to find McMurray, but McAllister is there once again, and the ball now breaks to Mayola. Substitutes have actually probably helped Mayola in some way, just get a foot in the ball. Crusaders, they're in no rush to take this one, but Johnny McMurray comes all the way by. He flicks that ball across. Sean O'Neill has to go with his head. McMurray came a long way just to get the ball underway again. Think he's probably looking for a goal and wants to get play underway quickly. Ball shipped across from O'Neill, but Barr takes a heavy touch, gets away with one on Farley once again. Still Barr. Goes inside to find McMurray. Great touch from Jonathan McMurray. He's now attacking Ben Mitchell and wins himself and his team a throw in. Black spreads it all the way across to Aidan Wilson. Ball put in, great ball put in. Looks to be coming around the back is Johnny McMurray, but it was Mayola Park centre half got ahead on that one. McMurray takes the throw in quickly to Barr. Another testing ball put into the box, trying to find Holland, but easily cut out. And there we have it. The referee has blown the final whistle, and it's Crusaders 5, Mayola Park nil this evening. Crusaders progress into the next round. And this is also a good lesson for Mayola in their league campaign. They're not likely to come up uh, against a side like the Crusaders, but it's a great workout for them. And very good night, all in all, for all the Crusaders supporters. Once again, thank you very much for joining on Cruise TV. A special thank you tonight to Ian McCormick, Mr. Cruise TV, and of course, Philip White, our new cameraman who has been employed this year to help us. Big thank you to them. And thank you everyone for joining us. We look forward to seeing everybody, hopefully, in the stadium on Saturday afternoon as we go into another league game against Lauren. But thank you very much and we hope you all have a great week. Thank you.